What's going on guys? My name is Christian from Prime Health Management. Welcome to today's workout of the day. Today we're filming from the beautiful Altice Fitness Center right here in Boca Raton, Florida. I'm gonna walk you through my chest, shoulder, and tricep workout that I just did. I'll also give you some tips along the way. Um, so sit back, relax, enjoy the video. If you have any comments or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. And also if you give this video a big heart, a thumbs up, a like, kind of depends on what platform you're watching that on, I'd really appreciate it. So sit back, relax, here we go. All right, first thing we're gonna do, I'm just gonna stretch, stretch my chest a little bit. So what I have, I have a band and I attach it to a high anchor point. So you wanna wrap the band around your wrist a little bit, walk out a few feet until you get some tension on it. Keep your stomach tight because you don't want the band to kind of force you into hyperextension. Stomach tight. So I'm stretching out my left arm. My left leg is going to be behind me. That way I get a good stretch all the way down the left side of my body into my hip flexor. Abs tight, like I said. And just ever so slightly, you're just going to twist your chest away. So I'm starting here. Twist out to the right. And you'll feel a huge, massive stretch right in the uh, front shoulder area. And um, this is typically what I do before I get into uh, any chest or shoulder workout. So I'll hold it here just for a few seconds. Make sure you get that other arm. All right, so we're gonna pair that stretch that we just did with one of my all-time favorite shoulder warm-up exercises. Um, I usually throw this into the beginning of most chest uh, workouts and shoulder workouts just to kind of get everything loose, get everything warm because as we get into some heavier pressing, you really wanna make sure the shoulder and chest area is properly warmed up. So this is called the shoulder shocker. This is made popular by a coach named Joe DeFranco. It comes in three sections. We're gonna first start into a bus driver with either a 10 or 25 pound plate. If you're really strong, you can use a 45 pound plate, but typically start off with a 10 pound, then progress to 25. Immediately, we're gonna go right into a lateral raise. Number three is gonna be a Cuban press back up and then down. So that's three sections. I'm just gonna do a couple reps of each so you can see the different movements. Uh, but typically you might wanna do you know, anywhere from you know, seven to 10 reps per, um, per movement. So that was one rep in the bus driver. So I'll just do three. Lateral raise, and then here's your Cuban press. And for that Cuban press, I'm using 12s. Typically, I would probably use like 10 pounds, um, but anything over that, 15. 20 pounds is definitely going to be the most you might want to go on that particular exercise. All right, first two movements that we're going to do, I'm going to do a body weight decline push up and then immediately pair that with an overhead tricep extension. As usual, I'm gonna leave the entire workout that I just did for you at the end of the video. So please feel free to take a screenshot of it and always let me know what you thought. I'd love to hear your comments. Okay, first heavy movement that we're gonna do for chest is gonna be a banded dumbbell incline bench press. So after you get eight to 10 with the band, take it off, grab the same weight and try to get the same amount of reps. I 
I guess seven. Next up, we're gonna combine three different exercises. One's gonna hit the chest, the other one's gonna hit the shoulders, and the third one is going to hit the triceps. So we're gonna start off with a cable tower fly, immediately go right into a lateral to front raise, and then third one, we're gonna pair that with a tricep kickback from the cable tower machine. two movements we're going to combine two tricep exercises so we're going to start with dips and we're going to pair that with a tricep push down with the rope if you don't have a dip station at your community fitness center what you can do you can push two benches together and then you can actually do your dip from the top portion of the bench I'll show you what I mean <laughs> 